The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's November report shows five endangered Mexican gray wolves were found dead in New Mexico last month. That brings the 2018 total to 17, the most on record. The ABQ Biopark Zoo has several of the endangered animals. We spoke with zoogoers today about the investigation into the wolf deaths. It is sad to hear that, you know, these animals are, for whatever reason, dying out in the wild. U.S. Fish and Wildlife's Office of Law Enforcement say they're investigating all five of the November Mexican wolf deaths and will share more information when it is available. However, they did release a statement saying in part what could be the reason. It says, quote, we also have more Mexican wolves collared in 2018 than in prior years. Improved mortality detection is the likeliest explanation for the increased absolute number of mortalities in 2018. Therefore, we do not expect mortality rates to be outside of average levels. The Mexican gray wolf is the rarest subspecies of the gray wolf in North America and was almost eliminated from the wild as early as the 1970s. In 1977, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service initiated efforts to protect the species. Mexican wolves were released to the wild for the first time in the Blue Range Wolf Recovery Area back in 1998. Yeah, I really hope that they're able to figure out what's happening with the the wolves out in the wild because we'd love to, you know, any endangered species, it's, it's sad to see them disappear. They're important to the ecosystem. Reporting Brandon Evans, KOAT Action 7 News.